Well, blessed morning, Prince folks. It's really dark outside today. <laughs> it is 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven, and this is what it looks like. That's why it's dark. But we got enough light to see how to have God as guidance through all the darkness that comes then try and envelope us in this life. So the devil's got a hold on us. And how does the devil get a hold on us? By sin. And that's all the that sin is. Sin means missing the mark. But I would rather miss the mark of the devil by being on God's supernatural level, knowing that Jesus is the way, and knowing that the Word became flesh, which was Jesus. And once you believe that, you, you are guided by the holiness of His Spirit, His Hunkwai Spirit. And He'll lead you in this perfect light that darkness cannot comprehend. And love that suffers long and endures everything. Love that puts others' interests first before itself. And with all that being said, here's something for everyone. So we have a scripture of Psalms, Psalms 81, 13 through 14. If my people would but listen to me, how quickly would I subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their foes? And then we have a quote from Hannah Whittall Smith. If God's will is your will, and if he always has his way with you, then you always have your way also. <laughs> okay. I'm going to skip some of this lesson. We're going to get right here. Um, what does that say about our trust in God? That's what the fallen man in the Garden of Eden was all about. Mistrusting God and seeking our own interest. And that's still what sin is all about. When we choose our own will over God's, we're mistrusting Him and trusting ourselves. What an absurdity. We forget the most basic of all biblical teaching. God's will is in our best interest. Are you convinced of that? The believer's life will be a struggle until we know deep down in our hearts that his commands, even the hard ones, are ultimately for our benefit. We can be sure that the best way to seek our way, to seek our own self-centered interest, is to be entirely God-centered. In this paradox, godliness and the self-life meet. Or as Jesus said, whoever loses his life will preserve it. Our happiness is deeper and richer when we listen to him. In that sense, it is a self-fulfilling act to forsake our own will and submit to His. Submission seems so noble, but we have a lot to, we have a lot at stake in it. When we serve Him, we serve ourselves. Believe that wholeheartedly, and see what happens. And then I got my own little note here from 2021. It's hard to believe that was two years ago. When we serve God, we serve ourselves. Believe that, all the way in flow and blessing. And it's just as simple as that. The Bible, I, my Sunday school teacher, Dan Caldwell, a long time ago, he um, at Lighthouse Pentecost off of Rogers Lane right here in Lawton, Oklahoma, he said the Bible stands for basic instructions before leaving earth. He's not the first to say that, I'm sure. Someone started that or whatever. That is a good acronym. Is that what you call it? 50 cent word for trying to sound smart. Yeah. But um, if you have that in your heart, the basic instructions before leaving earth, then you got everything you need. When hard times come, you know that you have to forgive. You know to turn the other cheek. And I, you know what? I've done that. I have been struck. <laughs> and the person hit me again. And after that, they stopped. And I told them, if you can't let go of them demons in you, then you and them demons, you need to go. And this person took off with their boyfriend. And um, the boyfriend, I, I gave him a warning. Don't you put no hands on me because if you do, it's on. But they both left. Then the boyfriend ended up talking to me the next day. We had a conversation, a civil one, and I told him, it's just drugs. I know your woman's on drugs, guy. You know. <laughs> that is that is what it is. Um, love is going to call It's going to make you, when you have the love flowing in you of the Lord, man, you let him, you know, you let him guide you. Your hands are not going to be on people to hit them, to hurt them. It's going to be on them to heal them. Because this same person, I just prayed for her not that long ago. I'm not going to say who it is, but that's one example of the goodness of the Lord within me. And there are others as well, but it's not me. It's me stepping to the side and letting the Lord guide my helm, the helm of my heart. You know, there's a part that's really been sticking out in me, and that is simply, guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. If you have light in your heart from the Lord, then you believe in the Lord, and you're going home to the kingdom of heaven. If you don't believe in God, you think he's a big punisher. How can there be God when there's child molestation and, and this and that and my mom died? And you could just add on. You could stack it. Then your heart is full of darkness. 
and the, the, your heart determines the course of your life. If you want to go to the dark pit of hell, you'll be there. But if you want to go to heaven, just keep on keeping on a mighty fire test purity of your heart instead of silver and gold. The fire that tests silver and gold is a fire of the earth. But the fire that will test your heart is of the spiritual rebirth. Be blessed today in your iron journey.